hello everyone welcome to the mathematics in my channel in this video we are going to find the half derivative of zeta function zeta of x okay here uh, we know d to the one half or dx to the one half also we can write this is equal to uh, we can represent this is d one half zeta of x okay uh, now uh, first we know the definition of zeta function zeta of x Riemann zeta function uh, this is equal to uh, sum of n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n raised to the x and uh, here also we can write this is equal to n is equal 1 to infinity n to the minus x now if we take a uh, half derivative or fractional order any other fractional order derivative of zeta function we should differentiate n to the minus x therefore uh, first uh, let's find the fractional order derivative of n to the minus x so i'm going to take the derivative of uh, traditional dif differentiation the dif uh, derivative of n to the minus x we know if we differentiate this we have n to the minus x times minus natural log of n now if we take second order derivative of n to the minus x we know this is equal to n to the minus x times minus times natural log of n times minus times natural log of n and we can write this is equal to n to the minus x <coughs> here minus here also minus so minus 1 square uh, times natural log square of n okay now if we take uh, third derivative so here n to the minus x is equal to now we know uh, according to this pattern here we have n to the minus x uh, minus 1 raised to the 3 power times natural log to the 3 power of n okay now uh, if we take uh, here alpha times alpha derivative of n to the minus x we know here now we have n to the minus x times minus 1 to the alpha times natural log raised to the alpha of n okay now uh, if we take uh, fractional order derivative so we can take uh, when alpha is equal to a over b so we can write here uh, d a over b fractional order derivative of n to the minus x is equal to n to the minus x times minus 1 to the now alpha we know a over b times natural log of uh, n raised to the a over b okay then uh, here n to the minus x now here we have minus 1 so uh, before it i'm going to write uh, natural log of n raised to the a over b times now we know minus 1 is equal to e to the i pi e to the i pi raised to the a over b then uh, here n to the minus x natural log of n raised to the a over b then e to the i pi uh, raised to the a over b we can write cosine of pi a over b plus i times sine of pi a over b okay this is the uh, fractional order uh, a over b derivative of n to the minus x okay now uh, let's take the uh, fractional order derivative of uh, zeta function Riemann zeta function zeta of x is equal to uh, here d uh, raised to the a over b now we know uh, here uh, n is equal 1 to infinity uh, n to the minus x now we found the uh, fractional order derivative of n to the minus x is equal to uh, so we can write now uh, this is equal to infinite sum uh, n is equal 1 to infinity but when n is equal to 1 here natural log of 1 so 0 so here this is uh, begin with n is equal to 2 to infinity uh, here we know we have n to the minus x times natural log of n raised to the 
a over b uh, times uh, here cosine of uh, sorry here we have cosine of pi a over b plus i times sine of pi a over b okay then <coughs> this is the um, a over b uh, derivative of theta function uh, now we need to half derivative so uh, d one half d to the one half uh, theta of x is equal to we know here n is equal to to infinity n to the minus x uh, natural log raised to the now one half uh, of n uh, times now cosine of uh, pi over 2 we know 0 i times uh, sine of pi over 2 we know 1 okay now uh, here we have i times n is equal to to infinity n to the minus x uh, times natural log raised to the one half of n okay this is the uh, half derivative of theta function and we know the answer is imaginary okay thank you for watching